Today's lesson is on finding the median and the mode. Measures of center are ways to measure the most common pieces of data or to make a prediction of what the next piece of data would look like. And the measure of center we learned yesterday was mean. Today we're doing median and mode. So even though mean, median, mode all describe the center of a set of data, they may not always be the same number. So we have to memorize that the measures of central tendency are these three terms. Mean, which is the average, median, which is the middle number, and mode, which is the number that repeats the most often. So again, when you organize a list of data from least to greatest, the central value is the median. Now if you have um, an even number of values, you have, to, you have to find the mean of the middle two values. And I'll show you examples of that. The mode is very easy. That's just the number that occurs the most often. So let's take a look at a uh, first example. This table shows the number of monkeys at 11 different zoos. Let's find the median and mode of the data. All right, so the, what I want to do is organize them from least to greatest. So my smallest number is 12. My next smallest number is 16. Then I have two 18s. Then the next smallest number looks like it's 25. And then 28. The next smallest number would be 30. Uh, 34, then 36, and finally 42, 44. Okay, now what I want to do is eliminate the outermost values. And I want to continue doing this until I get to the middle. And it looks like I've crossed out five numbers on the left, five numbers on the right. So my median is 28. My mode is simply the number that repeats the most often. And when I look here at my data, the only number that actually repeats at all in this is um, 18. So that's why 18 is the mode. Dina recorded her scores on seven tests in the table. Find the median and the mode. Median and mode. Again, we want to organize them from least to greatest. So our smallest number here is 85. Then we have 88. Then we have 90. We have two 93s. We have a 94. And we have a 97. Okay, now what we want to do is start to cancel them out. The outside values. Work your way in. And it looks like we've canceled three out on the left, three on the right, which means our median is 93. Let's look for the mode. The mode, again, is just the number that appears most frequently. Looks like we have one 93 there and another 93. None of the other numbers have anything, or they're not the same. There's no other uh, common numbers. So 93 is our mode also. So for this example, you have a median and a mode that are both the same value. Let's go back to example one quickly. We see that the median is 28 and the mode is 18. So not always will you have the same value. Depends on your data. Let's go to the next example. Find the median and mode of the temperatures displayed in the graph. So these are the four digits, we, or the four numbers we have. They're decimals this time. The smallest number is 55 and 8 tenths. Then we have 58 and 2 tenths. Mm -hmm. Then we have 64 and 4 tenths. And 71 and 2 tenths. So we're going to work our way from the outside in. Now there's a problem. We have two numbers in the middle. So the way to do this is to find the median of both, uh, sorry, to find the mean of both numbers. To find the mean of both numbers, 
we're going to go ahead and add them and divide by 2. Remember, to find the mean, you have to add and divide by the amount of pieces of data you have. Since we only have two numbers that we're going to add, we divide by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out what 64 and 4 tenths plus 58 and 2 tenths is. 4 plus 2 is 6, 8 plus 4 is 12, 6 plus 6 is 12. So we have 122 and 6 tenths divided by 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times with no remainder. 2 goes into 2 1 time with no remainder. And 2 goes into 6 3 times with no remainder. So when we bring our decimal up, we find that our median, median value is 61 and 3 tenths degrees. Now for the mode. If we don't see any numbers in common, there is no mode. And that's a perfectly valuable answer. Perfectly acceptable. To review, if you find that there are two numbers in your median, find the average or the mean of those two numbers. Whatever that number is, that's called your median. And this only happens when you have an even number of pieces of data. Here we have Miguel researching the average precipitation in several states. Find and compare the median and mode average pop, uh, precipitation. Let's do the mode first because I think the mode could be easiest to do um, before you start working on the median. So the mode is only the numbers that repeat the most frequent. Looks like we have a 42.2 there and here. But do we have any other numbers that appear more than once? 32.8. Nope, doesn't look like that re reappears. 60.1. Nope. And certainly none of these reappear. So it looks like our mode is going to be 42 and 2 tenths. Now for the median, we have to organize them from least to greatest. So our smallest value is 32.8. So let me write this down. Then we have the 40s. 42.2. We have two of those. Then we have 48.9, 50 and 7 tenths, 54 and 5 tenths, 58 and 3 tenths, and finally 60 and 1 tenth. Again, we're going to we're going to start eliminating from the outside in. Oh, there it is. We have that same scenario again. We have two numbers in the median. So what we have to do is add them both and then divide by 2. 50.7 plus 48.9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 8 plus 1 is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. And the decimal goes straight down. Now we just have to divide that by 2. 2 goes into 9 4 times with a remainder of 1. 2 goes into 19 8 times. Nope, that's a lie. 9 times with a remainder of 1, and 2 goes into 16, 16 exactly 8 times. So it looks like our median, let me write that down over here, so our mode was 42.2, and our median is 49 and 8 tenths. <clears throat> Final example, describe the daily high temperatures using the measures of center. Now, when they tell you to use the measures of center, that means they're asking you to use mean, median, and the mode. The mode is pretty easy. Again, just look to see which number appears most often. I see a couple of 71s. I don't see anything else in common, so the mode's a 71. To find the mean, let's do the average again. That's a review from um, yesterday's lesson. So we're going to add up all of our values. So for the mean, we're going to add 72, plus 73, plus 67, plus 65, plus 71, plus 64, plus 71, and we divide the entire thing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When we add the top out, you should get 483, and then after you divide it by 7, our answer is 69. So the mean is 69. Next thing we're going to do is find the median. To find the median, we organize from least to greatest. So first we have 64, 
65, and 67. Then we have two 71s, we have a 72, and we have a 73. Again, cancel out from outside inwards, and it looks like our median is 71.